I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard. Nuts, stolen technology, units... <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell Definitely it out? Definitely gonna have to ask Rocket I about don't this got later. No units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Eh, it looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. Groot! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man, those first few years. Do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm cooked. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean, I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am... I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows, if this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or... I don't know. I am Groot. It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. Oh, glad Corel didn't find that on top of the Space Llama.
Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. He must have asked his well-meaning accomplice to retrieve the sum and hide it from us. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Groot has the right to some privacy. Ah, now is not the time for pointless civility. Sweet tracks. What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar with the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? Yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Paramitar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this flark and fine. Done in record time. On it, and finished. This work is worth more than your worth, Quill. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Who's Bluebird? Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird, and I was the kid. Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, 
used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime, about three years into my sentence. Wait, Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were, and they also weren't. The Ravagers had a simple code, steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships, until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yandu ended up on Shatari Prime, with you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base. But he didn't. Instead... He invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged. If that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder in the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. Not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I'd been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. Or a buck a load of units too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out My on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic oh, mountains yeah, of Kakarandara. Guys! Maybe Rocket has something. There's a lot of crazies out there, Quill. Willing to pay for this kind of... weird... No! Let's say my collection is actually worth something. There's no way we find a buyer in time. And even if we do, there's no way it gets us what we need. 
And most importantly, any attempt to sell anything of mine will result in me chopping off something valuable of yours. Perhaps we should reconsider another course of action. Yep. Such as capturing the infamous- No! I am Groot. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant! Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters. And you are not a monster! He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell so, Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, him. well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and... Totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. Cool. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. I'm not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. 